Jeff Chandler Jeff Chandler was born as Ira Grossell in Brooklyn, New York in 1918. He discovered an interest in drama while attending the famed Erasmus Hall High School, an environment in which he was immersed in an atmosphere of artistic attainment. Contemporaries included future noteworthies such as songwriter Betty Comden, actors Susan Haywood and Eli Wallach, radio personality Dorothy Kilgallen, and novelists Bernard Malamute and Mickey Spillane. His early forays into professional acting were cut short by the arrival of World War II. Jeff enlisted in the Army Cavalry, but within a year was promoted to lieutenant and served in an air support capacity in the Aleutian Islands for much of the war. He finished up at Fort Hood in California in 1946, got married, changed his name, and landed in Hollywood, eager to resume his career. Professional credits piled up quickly, first in radio, where a steady stream of appearances in secondary roles led to noteworthy assignments such as the star of The New Adventures of Michael Shane in 1947, and perhaps his best-known role as biology teacher and love interest Philip Boynton on Armis Brooks. Film stardom followed closely behind. In one of his first film roles, Chandler received a Best Supporting Actor nomination for his portrayal of Apache leader Cochise in Broken Arrow, 1950, a characterization he would repeat in two more films. Perhaps to his ultimate detriment, he signed a 10-year deal with Universal, and the studio generally relegated him to second-tier action films, often westerns and war-themed pictures. Despite slender opportunity to win critical acclaim, Chandler became a very popular film personality, and he was able to parlay that recognition into additional small successes in music. He made records as a vocalist, starred briefly in his own Las Vegas review, started a music publishing firm, and was credited as the lyricist on the theme song from the Tony Curtis film Six Bridges to Cross in 1956. Jeff Chandler's career was as remarkably busy as his life was brief. In the spring of 1961, while playing baseball on the set of Maryville's Marauders, he suffered a herniated disc. Routine surgery somehow went badly awry, and internal hemorrhaging ensued. Several subsequent operations failed to reverse the downward spiral of events. On June 17th, more than a month after the original procedure, Jeff Chandler died of shock and peripheral vascular collapse at the age of 42.